for installation of Postgres. Initially, you will open a Chrome browser and then go to Google. Then just type the software called as Postgres. Then click on the Postgres website and then click download. So my PC is Windows, Chosos, Windows operating system. So the recent version of Postgres is Postgres 40. So, so click download the installer. So choose the version 14.1 of Windows. Click download. Yeah, the download was started. Once download complete, just click on that file, which will open like this press yes so the postgres installation was starts then press next then again press next 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 so the installation is faster the tg admin server is shut down proceeding with upgrade okay now the installation of postgres is in progress So stack builder is not required. Finish. So already I have uh, another Postgres. So the version was upgraded. So it will not ask user ID and password. Now you will go for IDE. So again go for Google. DB Weaver. DB Weaver is an alternate IDE for Postgres. So download DB Weaver. DB Weaver and click on the button download. So it asks community edition as well as enterprise edition. I will click on community edition under that Windows 64 bit installer. So we click download 64 bit installer for DB Weaver. Once installation completed, click on open DB Weaver exe file, select a language as English, then press next. I agree then for anyone from my computer so yes it will ask the folder and shortcut name it will give everything so the installation is in progress the entire db viewer software was installed in your pc then create a desktop shortcut and then finish now close the chrome browser then open the shortcut of db viewer which is available in the desktop the db viewer community this ide is supported for all kind of uh, databases mysql then something called as mango db etc etc no so now which will ask uh, which database you want to connect i will choose postgres then press next download the required driver for postgres so yes download it's needed so please wait for some more second then the required driver for postgres was downloaded yes fine now which will ask the use uh, host as local host port number as 5432 database as postgres then you will give a password the password for Postgres is Postgres, P-O-S-T-G-R-E-S. -E already I have installed. It's available in my uh, second video. So if needed, you will watch second video again. So remaining everything was ready. Now you will test a connection. So connected. So now you will press finish. So now maximize. Yeah, now the Postgres is ready. Then expand it. They under databases expand it under schema expand this under table you are having if you are having multiple table then the tables was listed here so here I will create a new database so right click create a new database named as test so owner as postgres so okay so it will create a new database here 
I will open ISQL editor for new SQL script. So, which is ready for typing SQL query. Put and then type create table name of the table field name worker 40. Then select the content and press control enter. The query will execute. Now verifying that. You will entering into your test database and then click on public and then expand and then tables so the table was not listed so right click and refresh yes the table was displayed similar way you can work on all the queries using db viewer so install postgres first which will ask username and password then install properly based on my video number two then after that you can install DBUR. DBUR is another IDE which is supported for Postgres. Thank you.